regular season games to right the ship. A win would mean a lot more today at the Jack. The Little Rock Trojans look to clinch a Sun Belt title and a first seed in the, in the conference tournament. The Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns are in the way. Telling by this image, you already know what happens, but let's see how they got there. Three-point game after half, it's close, but Marquise Noel would drain a three, and this guy's been hot all year, and he continues it. He's always creative with celebrations, and he's also creative with passes, too. Check this out. A steal, and then an in-between pass between the legs. Ben Coopit Jr. finishes it off with a slam. Jovan Stulak also going from deep. This one's going to be a toilet bowl in through the net. This one from Nicola March nearly can't flush, but the ball falls the right way. The cherry on top of this one, 30 seconds left. Sydney Aguda from deep falls through. Crowd goes wild and so does the bench as the buzzer sounds and makes it official. These Little Rock Trojans clinch their title as Sun Belt champs. It's the first time the Trojans will finish the regular season atop the league since 2015-16. And it comes 121 days since being ranked second to last in Sun Belt. Little Rock looks to locks their spot as first seed in the conference tournament. It's a big win, but it's not the final goal. These guys put the work in, man. They deserve the win. We're a solid basketball team. This is a good turnaround for this, for this, for this university. Uh, I knew we had to get some pieces together, and those pieces finally started to fit. And, uh, hopefully we're peaking at the right time, which is good for us. I'm thinking about Georgia State, and, and after Georgia State, let's get to New Orleans and, and see if we can win two basketball games. But at the end of the day, uh, we're not done winning. We ain't done yet. You know, we still got to get to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, that's what we're shooting for. We're taking it one game at a time, you know. This is a good, good accomplishment, but we got bigger goals ahead. So that's why we're saying we're not done yet. We see the results from it. We see that we win it, um, and we're just going to keep doing it until we get the March home. Remember, it's a day to remember for this team, but it also helps put individual goals more in reach. Marquise Noel is vying for Sunbelt Player of the Year. The 5'7 guard's motto is heart over height and it's translated on the court. 19 points today, 24 point average over the last three games, which was a crucial stretch. Leading the Trojans to a league title only improves his case. Noel can know well of one thing. He's got Daryl Walker's vote. Marquise, defense on three, one, two, three, defense. He has to be at the top of the list, I'm sure. Uh, he's, he's, he's played extremely well. Uh, we're sitting at the top, uh, going to see Georgia State. Uh, he's an exciting uh, kid to watch play. It's going to be interesting how the coaches vote, but I, I, he, he got to be right there for sure. I think it's a no-brainer, but you never know. We'll see. I'm sure he's happy that we've won the Sunbelt Conference. He will take that over being some Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year. This isn't your everyday turnaround. This is going worst to first. The first Trojans' first year under Darrell Walker, that was tough sledding. Little Rock finished dead last in conference standings. A year later, being the cream of the crop in Sunbelt, it's an accomplishment that the team worked for, but at one point couldn't even imagine was possible. It's a bittersweet moment, you know. Um, we won five games last year. Like it was tough and rough, but we knew that if we had everybody, everybody healthy, that we would be a pretty decent team. And just just winning 20 games is is it's a real like. I didn't think we would get to this point. I knew we would be a pretty solid team, but. I didn't believe we would get to this point at all. I, I felt that we were going to be in the top three or four for sure. Top four for sure. There's no doubt about it. What I saw in the summer, I really feel good for my guys, all of them, especially the guys that were here last year that returned, uh, that went through that season that we went through.